Paradise Resort, Lakawi Hotspot. Um, British or Team Seeker will be glad to be taking a break today because for the two days they've been playing, Lakawi has always been invaded by someone else. That's kind of true. And uh, for the rest of the other teams though, we're looking on the northern side. We do have a couple of teams. Oh, well, I'm waiting for Paradise Resort to something for happen with them. We do know for a fact that Paradise Resort always heavily contacted on the side of Paradise Resort. We do have first contact here. Oh yeah, you asked for it, you got it. And GE is dead against Voin. Looks like they're trading it off back and forth. So right now we, have, we got to do a head count, like who's winning this fight. But looks like GE might be the one to win it, but they got to finish off the last player of Voin. West waiting with that micro Uzi just to see a pick if he can actually finish off there. But at the same time, Paradise Resort is a heavy toll on these teams here. Who happened to be exchanging fire too early on. The circle didn't even pop just now. Oh yeah, the circle went down though. So this time it's a little bit different circle. Might be a little bit kinder considering it's mainly on the main peninsula. But the moving over to Camp Bravo too. Yudo Alliance not having a good time as they're invaded by RRQ. And they look closest to another player of RRQ. But at the same time, Void Keenan! Keenan, he clutch! Keenan clutch it out for Void! GE is eliminated! But how did that happen? Yudo Alliance? That's crazy. I mean, like, Yudo Alliance is there. Oh, keeping a They circle around, so Keenan's waiting for the right moment, and they might do that. Yes, they will. Oh, two. He discovered it. He got himself a clutch. Everybody being choked by the hands of Keenan on the side of DBD. This is not going what they want, and suppose it will be DBD punished by oh. Keenan with those shotguns. It still can actually do it. Sam 9 at the back line. DBD. They're being obliterated in the hands of Voin. At the same time, Sam Knight is just taking advantage at the back line. Oh yeah, Sam Knight stealing away those elimination points. Two at least by now. The last member of DBD. Where can he go? Oh no, Echo surrounded by... It's definitely just them to finish off box gaming one by one. There's no way out for them. Yeah, if they can get a clear shot, if not the zone might take it away. But now Okta... Oh no. Damage onto Okta, but now Bacon Time is in trouble with Sam9 coming in and Dev will get one for himself. Dev with 10% of health, not an issue. He has his teammates to back him up and Sam9 wins the fight. Dev trying to hold on to his last breath here. We're talking about Shred, it is fast, almost... Oh, never mind. Straight away on the ground, leaving only Louie to defend for the rest of the team. Vampire is coming in strong, but Face will be the next target as well. Ooh, Vampire is coming in! And when you thought there's only face clap, but now Vampire wants some of that too. They took a break yesterday, so now they're hungry for something. With Tony K at the forefront, but at the same time, Schwab's knocked down. Yes, his teammates to back him up, she'll be able to be picked up without an issue. But for Sam Knight, they need to reset this quickly. Vampire's not fat yesterday, they are starving for those kills there. Talk about Vampire's picking two teams at a time. And not just that, it might be a tree later on, as I think that's going to be Alter Ego coming up from their left side. And we do have FaZe still taking around this well. The one's actually being hammed down, it's going to be Sam 9, but Alter Ego. Rosemary as always, having a good start for the team, being the frontliner. But BTR, where are those shots Kim Pies versus Sam 9 and FaZe as well in the mix? They haven't wrapped things up. It feels like a bit extended there as face shifted over the tension on the side of Alter Ego. Vampires on there then going in for the rush. Speaking about rushing in, so it looks like Sam9 defended their rush here, but Lo Yu shot in from behind. Tony K was there, Sam9 out. But it looks like at least they got at least. Oh, they're not out yet though. They got five elimination points. Ah, okay, it's out, it's out. Okay, it just happened that fast. Number 11 for them. So right now, Vampires with a duo managed to get 5 elimination points at least. Tony K inside the circle, but SLD, they are not done yet. They are still busy, not with Gig Fam, but we ended the team on the other side. Yeah, Alter Ego showing their faces inside of Vampires on those elevations. Same time, revealing themselves inside of Gig Slate right across the mountains. Now, do they decide to stay here for a bit longer? Because I don't think they should. Because they will be gatekeeper side of Gig Slayers waiting on the other end. So Octotru Mika would not give it any sort of mercy. No slacks given for these guys, including Tony K of Vampires. They're being split into two parts here for Vampires. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, despite playing as a 
duo. Looks like they're splitting up. Probably, probably wasn't a plan, but maybe it was like one person going in another area and then it's like, okay, you be there first, I'll come join you later once it's clear. But just so happened that Lucy is not clear because of Alte Ego just on top of them, so he couldn't move into Tony K. Speaking of Tony K, he got himself a circle. Even though they are quite spread out thin here for Nuzi and Vampires, Tony K, only both of them remains as a duo. Alta Ego got themselves as a three for now. It's going to be a duo due to one knockdown face coming out from the normal side. Box will be gatekeep hard by the side of Boom. BTR as a squad getting into on the southeast side. Utilize and he'll good luck facing BTR as a full squad. Ah. As Geek still taking a fight against SLD, they are over, yeah, a bit overextending this fight here. And the Blues are shrinking and might just burn them, uh, burning them off live. Well, I wish that uh, SLD could just move, but uh, unfortunately they were surrounded by many teams. But speaking about being surrounded, Nuzi could be surrounded, but the good thing is that they didn't notice Nuzi, but now they will. Nuzi being shot up by Rosemary, I believe he was on high ground and Potato was coming in for the other side anyway. It was tough for Nuzi. And now that means that Face Clan is left. Vampires is left with Tony K. Not a great start for Vampires this time. Alter Ego. They do have Rosemary. It's going to be Tony K have to deal this with him and right now. If Rosemary down, it's going to be it for Alter Ego. There's no way coming back into Sunhawk for today. Oh, Geek Slate. Just when we thought that they're winning the fight against SLD, looks like they got two of them being knocked down. Three, in fact. Last man standing now for Geek Slate. Can Damroot actually do it? But no, it's just too much for him to handle as Parajin takes him out. Parajin, together with SLD, they won the fight. Now they're moving to the circle. Down to only nine teams here, but Rosemary barely hanging on. Octa crying for help, bleeding out. SLD Parajin quite too far from Trongzen. He needs to actually shave. Shift to it's all the attention on his side as his teammate might be actually reviving ones they have made. So, never mind, there's only two of them for SLD right now. There's no for him to actually help him out. It's too much in the open. Octa being finished off by the play zone. We do have Alter Ego next for uh, the eighth place. Vampires on the then Tony K still holding on by himself. Ah, uh, Tony K took advantage of the vehicle explosion and took two elimination points with them. Eliminating the entire Alter Ego. Alter Ego, ah, uh, what a unfortunate position for them. It's not like they have any space to move. Tony K was just aware of that. I was At some point, I was kind of wondering, like, Tony K, is he going to toss a nade? But no. Smartly used the vehicle explosion to secure that point. Great gameplay. Mela, back to a site Mormon. Face, they lost Ventoris early on, but still have a three. Quite an advantage when it comes to number. BTR have one building for themselves, but Uda Lines wants to flush them out. Couple of nip pre cooked but it's a flax and oleo. Well, look, waiting with his guns just to fire things off if anybody tried to rush out from there. But they're not taking the bait yet for BTR. Oh, Udo Alliance against BTR. Are oh, they look super duper low right now? They're playing without Kenny, the clutch master. BTR still a full squad, so they have a better chance, but they need to be aware that there's another team overlooking these fights. It's going to be Hail Esports, but the good thing is that they're on the lower ground, so they still have time between each other, but time's not on their side as a zone will come in. SLD being finished off by the side of a, none of the teams that are already indoors or inside of a circle. BTR on the other hand still trying to fight for the compound. We talk about you doing lies, trying to flush them out for the past few minutes. At the same time, Hill is coming in, breathing down their neck, compressed in between. This forces BTR to push themselves. The moment you, you just cornered these guys, BTR fights back. Oh yeah, and they are fighting back right now, but you I will be gunned down! Looks like Ade Luke is still there! Olio goes down to Deuce! And now I do now Deuce with 50% health. Unfortunately, Olio will be eliminated as well. That means number six for Yudu Alliance with six elimination points. Right now, BTR has an entry into the circle. The circle shifts and it is within Quarry. Tony K sprays over the side of got rides and on down. Liquid really low right now. How is the rest of BTR to get into the circle? And case safe? Never mind. Eliminated next. We're down to three with Boom as a four. Ooh, face clad. What a position they have. But then again, unfortunately, they don't have the circle. Boom. However, look at their split. Look at their spread. Right now, Yummy has a good vantage point on Zen. We'll pick up his teammate. That will be the priority right now. He'll be praying that. Boom, that's not spy out by- Oh no, the zone has around. Oz is forced to move. Just 
no way he can actually save Mormon right now. Have to be the sacrificial lamb, but on the try to clutch, it's gonna be boom winning. The face last man finish off, and the blue zone happened to.